Hi, and welcome back to Heart Alchemy Yoga. My name is Gloria Baracchio, and I'm at the Springs LA in the downtown arts district of Los Angeles. Thanks for joining us today. For all of you who just need 30 minutes of a nice yoga stretch workout, this is what you're here for. So thanks for joining us, and we're gonna get a little bit of sweat on, we're gonna get a little stretch on, and definitely some Shavasana, of course. Um, please welcome my girlfriends, Sabrina, Meredith, and Rachel. And please enjoy yourself. If at any time something doesn't feel good or right for you, please don't do it or please modify it. Go to a place that feels right and good and yummy. We really want to encourage just feeling yummy in our bodies, getting to know our bodies a little bit more, uh, getting aligned, but also feeling fluid and strong and natural and organic and intuitive. Okay, so I will prompt you with alignment and breath but I also want you to really trust your inner teacher and just get into the habit of that as we practice. Okay, but this is gonna be a quick one. Enjoy it, and if nothing else, just breathe with us. Thank you. Here we go, let's inhale, ladies. Inhaling, arms up, maybe the palms touch. Let's exhale, forward fold. Good, let's lift the pit of the belly. Good, inhale, long spine. Good, let's exhale, just walk the feet back to a plank position. Good. Very slowly, keep your elbows near your rib cage, chaturanga, and half push up here. Good, let's inhale into an up dog. Take the thighs off the ground, open the heart. Good, let's exhale, down dog. Beautiful. So, if you don't know about the ujjayi breath, Right? In our flow today, we really want to make sure we're inhaling and exhaling through our nostrils. Our mouth is closed. For this nice down dog, make sure the feet are hip width apart. Make sure the fingers or the hands are shoulder width apart. You really want to reach the backs of the legs to the back wall. So you get more length in your spine, more length in the backs of the legs. Maybe here, chin to the chest or gaze at your belly button. And for our first down dog, we like to stay here in about five to eight breaths. Good. And when you're ready, you can either step, walk, or quietly hop to your hands. Good. We'll half lift here, and then we'll exhale forward fold. Good. And then we'll inhale, arms up. Good. Palms touch. Maybe bring your hands to your heart. Feel a little centered here. Good. And let's get a little bit more centered. Inhaling, arms up again. Gaze up at the hands. Exhale, forward fold. Really moving with breath. Inhaling, long spine. Exhale, step, walk, or float back. Plank position, chaturanga, elbows parallel. Good, inhale, open the heart. So to modify, you can just come into cobra, okay? Exhale, down dog. Good. And again, a more active down dog. Let's spread those fingers. Really kind of get into the habit of pressing through the thumb and the pointer. Start to activate those inner arms that really come into the heart and the core. Beautiful. Draw the heels toward the earth. Again, gaze towards the belly button. Or if it feels good, close your eyes. I actually like closing my eyes for a lot of the practice just to really tune in, drop in a little bit more. Good. We can hear everyone's ujjayi. That's beautiful. When you're ready, let's inhale, step, walk, or float to our hands. Good. Exhale, forward folding. Good. Inhaling, arms come all the way up. We're just doing a Surya Namaskar A or Sun Salutation A. Good. And we'll do one more just like that. If you've never done it, we'll just get used to it here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, long spine. Exhale, step, walk, or jump back. Good, chaturanga. Inhaling, open the heart, this is up dog. Exhaling, down dog. Breathing, five breaths. Good. You wanna make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. So essentially the down dog is an inversion, right? Our heart is over our head. It's like a rest pose. So we're actually kind of giving our brain a break, <laughs> giving it more oxygen and blood. Yeah, 
And when you're ready, we'll inhale, step, walk, or float to our hands. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Stay with breath, inhaling, arms up. Good. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Surya Namaskar B, we be begin with chair pose. Sitting, Utkatasana. Either palms touch or parallel arms here. And maybe you gaze up towards the hands. You really want to sit a little bit more into your heels. Yeah, you feel that strength. Draw the tailbone a little bit more down to lengthen the spine. A lot of strength in the core here. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, long spine. Exhale, step or jump back. Plank position, chaturanga. Good. Inhaling, open the heart here. Yeah, exhaling, down dog. Good. Inhale, take the right foot between the two hands. Warrior one, plant the left heel, arms come up to the sky. Gaze up at the hands if that feels good. Both hips towards the front wall. Exhale, chaturanga. Plant the hands, step it back. Hover the floor. Inhale, open the heart. That's it. Shoulders back. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot between the two hands. Plant the right heel. Warrior one this side. Good. Virabhadrasana A. Both hips towards the front wall. Exhale, chaturanga. Hands down. Step the left foot back. Chaturanga. Good. Inhaling, open the heart. Exhale, down dog. Good. Breathing five breaths. So if you're new to Surya Namaskar B, I'm glad you're watching this video. <laughs> You can take your time. In fact, maybe if you're watching it at home, just take some time to watch what that sequence was. And we're going to do it again. We're going to do it two more times because we're still warming up the body. Surya Namaskar is designed to really detoxify the blood and the muscles to get everything warmed up for the rest of the practice. Good. When you're ready, we're going to step, hop, or float to your hands. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sit the booty down, bend those knees, arms up. Maybe palms touch, gaze up. Good, and come to standing. Good, so two more just like that, okay? Inhaling, sitting, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, long spine. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Good, hover the floor. Inhaling, open that heart. Exhale, down dog. Good, without rushing. Inhale, right foot between the two hands. Warrior one, this side, plant the heel. Both hips turn towards the front wall. Beautiful, gaze up. Exhaling, chaturanga. Good, hover the floor. Inhale, upward dog, beautiful. Exhaling, down dog. Yes, and feel free to move at your own pace. There's a lot of poses, right? Inhale, left foot between the two hands. Good, warrior one this side. Both hips towards the front wall, gaze up. Exhale, chaturanga. Chaturanga, you'll hear that one a lot. <laughs> Good, inhale, open the heart. Exhale, down dog, beautiful. Good, and at any time you need a break, Come to child's pose, please. Yeah. So, are we feeling warm yet, ladies? A little bit? Cool. Great. So, if you've just been watching, you're probably not warm, but <laughs> these ladies are I can definitely feel it. And that's what this practice is about. We're creating fire or agni, right, to really power the practice, to detoxify the blood, to really get everything flowing in the body. Here we go. Inhale, step walk or float to your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, sit the booty down, arms up or parallel, gaze up, and come to standing. Okay, one more just like that. But everyone's going to go at their own pace, okay? So here we go. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Good, inhaling, looking forward. Yeah, at your own pace. I'm just helping you. Step or hop back when you're ready. Good, chaturanga. Good, you can up dog or cobra, whatever you're doing, open that heart and breathe. Then you go to down dog and then it's the right foot between the two hands, warrior one this side. The heel is down in the back, the hips turn forward. Good, exhale. We're always trying to engage the pit of the belly, right? Our Uddiyana Bandha. 
Right? It's an upward lift. Right? Good. Open that heart. Exhaling, down dog. Left side, left foot front, right heel down. Good. Take the arms up. Good. Both hips forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Good. Inhaling, open the heart. Press thumb and pointer. Exhale, down dog. Good. Let's breathe. Five. Good. If you ever need a break, right, please go child's pose. You can come onto your forearms. Some people's wrists get a little bit tweaky. So always honor where you're at. If you need to come down, come down. Good. If this feels okay for you, stay with breath. The breath will calm you down. Good. Whenever you're ready, inhale, step, walk, or float to your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Chair pose, inhale, arms up, booty down. Yeah. A little bit more weight in the heels. Feel that strength. Good. And then come to a regular standing. Good. Close your eyes and just feel for a second. Feel the warmth. Feel the blood moving. Maybe heart rate is up a little bit. But maybe it's a nice, strong pace from those deep breathings. Good. So whenever you're ready, let's inhale chair again. So chair pose or utkatasan actually means intense strength pose, right? Or fierce. So you want to feel fierce here. It's pr a very strong pose. We're going to come to our heart in prayer. We're going to twist elbow outside that right knee if you can. And then try not to dump into the knee. Really lift out of the earth. Yeah, open the heart. Good. Twists are definitely known <laughs> to detoxify our internal organs, our digestive system. It's not the most comfortable for some of us, for many of us. <laughs> huh, Sabrina? <laughs> but it's really good to massage those internal organs. So from here, feel the strength. We're going to float the left leg back. And maybe you can really power up the left leg, pick up that left knee, open the heart a little bit more. Body's pretty warm right now. And we're breathing. Ujjayi. Good. Feel length coming out of that left heel. Yeah. Go ahead and take your time. Feel that strength from the bandha. Float the left leg front. Good. Inhaling, arms up. Come to standing. Ooh. Good. Hands to the heart. Good. Again, let's inhale, arms up, and sit. Utkatasan. Good. Prayer. Twist to the left. Elbow outside the knee. Open the heart. Good. If you want to feel a little bit more strength here, Take your right knee slightly back. Yeah. Because it tends to jut forward, right? Mm -hmm. Breathing. And let's take that right leg gracefully back. Strong. It's a little bit challenging. You might lose your balance. It's okay. Pick up that right knee even a little bit more. And then shoot the right heel a little bit more back. Good. And lift the heart. Open it towards the left side of the room. Beautiful. Good. Taking your time. Inhale it. Step it front. Good. Inhale. Arms up. Utkatasan. Good. And come to standing. Let's vinyasa. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhaling. Open the heart. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Good. Inhale, open the heart again. Exhaling, down dog. Good. Let's rest in child's pose just for a minute. And then take this time to feel, to breathe. You can always take child's pose when you're a little bit too warm or especially if the practice is new, the mind's working a lot. You just want to take it easy. Let the practice settle in to both the psyche and as well as the body. Good. 
Good. And when you're ready, slowly come back to down dog. So from here, let's inhale the right foot between the two hands. Come into crescent pose. So bend that right knee about 90 degrees. Take the arms up. Really activate that left leg. Pick up the left knee. In fact, to notice, bend your left knee here and then straighten it. Yeah, bend it again and straighten. Good, feel that. Feel that activation, beautiful. There's so much strength in this back leg, right? We're gonna take that strength, keep that left leg activated. We're gonna launch ourselves into warrior three. So we're gonna lift and fold halfway. So two arms are reaching, reaching, reaching for you. Yeah, for our, our viewers out there. Good, and the left foot is reaching to the back. The left hip is turning towards the earth. Good, if this is too much for you, find your variation, right? Maybe you don't fold so much. But if you can, keep that left leg activated. That's really lifting from your core. Take the navel towards the spine. Reach those arms. If this is too much on your arms, float them back. Good, we're gonna take those arms back up, crescent pose. And one more, feel that strength. Go again, warrior three. Use your breath. Yeah, and if you lose your balance, you just get right back up again. Right? You just try again. That's it. It's normal, especially when we're new or old. <laughs> good, and take it back up. Yeah, good. And let's chaturanga. You can chaturanga or down dog, right? You can always skip that vinyasa. Let's inhale, left foot front. Good, find your breath. Inhale, come to crescent, arms up. Bend that right knee and straighten. Bend it and straighten. Bend it again and really straighten it out. Shoot energy out the right heel. Engage the pit of the belly. Lengthen the spine. Shoulders away from ears. Open the heart. Good, with that strength, launch forward. Warrior three this side. Okay, one side usually feels different from the other. Right? If it's too much on the arms, float the arms back. Beautiful. Turn the right hip towards the earth. Breathing. Yeah. Take your time. Come back to crescent. Good. Arms up. Activate that leg. When you're ready, go launch again. Warrior three. Hold it. Let's do this for five breaths here. Beautiful, ladies. I love yoga with friends. I hope you're doing yoga with friends at home. If not, we'll be your friends today. Good. And take it back. Crescent. Oh, chaturanga when you're ready or down dog. Beautiful. Yeah, so we use our vinyasa to kind of reset the body, to get it kind of moving, right, from those long holds, deep strengthening poses. We're just finding our breath. So the great thing about balance poses is knowing where our center is, working from center. All of these are just extremities, right? They're just limbs. So if we can really work from center, right, there's less work, there's more ease on our external parts, yeah? Good, so we're gonna play with a little bit more balance. Let's inhale our right foot between the two hands. Come into warrior two. So we'll open up the hips to the left wall. And some of you will, actually everyone, let's grab our block right now in our right hand. We're gonna move into Ardha Chandrasana, which is half moon. It's funny, because I actually don't really understand why it's called half moon, it doesn't look like a half moon. Let's try it though, tell me what you think. Okay, so grab your block if you need it, and then when you're ready, oh actually everyone should use it, and we'll reach, 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 float that left leg, plant the block down about 12 to 14 inches. Essentially, 
the wrist is under your shoulder, right? And what you want to do is activate that left leg. Beautiful. And if you can, right, wrist in line with shoulder, shoulder in line with wrist, hip in line with ankle, hip in line with ankle. Yeah. Right? So seeing our body as sacred geometry in our practice and foot placement, right, making sure that right foot is pointing towards the front room, the block really helps here. Really working from your core helps. Good. When you're ready, slowly step it back. Beautiful. You can take your block. We're going to turn the right foot in, turn left foot out. So left hand will hold the block. And then when you're ready, come into warrior two this side. Good. And take your time. You can maybe step that foot in, find your balance on the left leg. Find that wrist right under that shoulder. Yeah. And then the right shoulder under the right wrists. Beautiful. Good. And maybe this all in the same plane. Beautiful. Breathing. Using ujjayi. Right? So all that sun salutation was to prepare us for these a little bit more challenging poses, right? Leg strengthening, working from bandha or core. Good. And we can look up at that right hand. Some people get so used to this pose, they can just hang out here for like five minutes. <laughs> Maybe not today. So it's pretty hot in here. So let's slowly step that foot back. Beautiful. Okay. So let's just put the block down for now. Parallel our feet towards the left wall. Start with your hands on your hips. Open the heart, look up at the sky. Exhale, let's fold. Prasarita Paratonasana. Okay, your choice. You can bring your hands down to the ground. If you can, their hands, you know, the hands are in line with the feet. Some of us can take the crown of the head to the ground. It's not a goal, doesn't have to happen. If it happens, fine. But what you do want to feel is rooting the feet, but taking the energy up the legs toward the core, and then dripping, lengthening energy down the spine. Yeah. Beautiful. You can hear everyone's ujjayi breath. It's very focused, it's concentrated. It's really maintaining our prana for the practice. Good. Inhale, look forward, hands on the hips. Good, elbows back. Good, exhale halfway and then inhale all the way up. Beautiful. We're going to interlace our fingers behind our hips, opening the heart again, open, looking up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Same energy in the legs, in the spine, right? Lift the energy from the feet. And then draw, this is a, obviously a shoulder opener. You're going to draw those arms toward the floor, over the head, breathing. Good. Some of us can get really strong and open and just open our shoulders a little bit more. Using breath. Good. And we'll inhale slowly. Go halfway first to catch your breath. Good. Exhale there and then inhale all the way up. Good. And from there, quietly hop to the center of your mat. Beautiful. And we'll step to the front of our mat. Good. And then let's reset with a vinyasa. So we'll inhale here. Everyone's going to go at their own pace. Just a Surya Namaskar A. Make sure you inhale into one pose, exhale into the next. So when in doubt, you <laughs> can always do a vinyasa, right? A sun salutation to get a little bit warm again, to reset the mind, reset the breath, reset the rest of the body. Good. Today we're going to try one more balancing pose. Let's step, hop, or float to our hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Good. Bring hands to the heart. 
good. Let's get our left hand on our left hip. Our right two fingers are going to hold the right big toe. Some of you will just stay here. But what I want you to notice is that you're not, that you make sure you don't hike your right hip up, right? So just really level the pelvis out. Good. Some of you will be able to straighten the leg just a little bit. Some of you can fully straighten it, right? Just depending on your body type, maybe even practicing a little bit longer. If you're okay here, right, you're going to hinge at the hips, maybe fold a little bit. Maybe you bring your head towards your knee. Maybe not. <laughs> but you can play with it. And what happens if you fall, Sabrina? Get right back up. That's it. Easy peasy. Good. From here, we're going to exhale, open up to the right wall, and then look left. Maybe. Right. It's a little challenging to do this when we change our gaze. Good. Let's take it back to center. Why I love this pose mostly is because of the name of it. Utita Hasta Padangustasana. <laughs> Good. And then the best part is we float the leg. Hands on hips. Good. Open heart. Good. Lift the leg. Lift it. Tap my hand. <laughs> Good. Release. Awesome, ladies. Here we go. Other side, and then we'll come to resting, okay? Well, we'll come to the floor. <laughs> left two fingers, grab the left big toe. Right hand on the hip. Maybe you can extend. Maybe you just stay here today. That's more than enough work, right? Working on the core and the balance. Good. Maybe you bow. Good. You stay in Ujjayi breath. Stay in that focus. Stay in that energy, the power, the agni, the fire for your practice. Good. Open it up to the left. And then look right. Heart is open. Shoulders over the hips. Good. Bring it back to center. Best part of Utita Hasta Padangasasana. Oh, lift. Go. Ba. 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 Good. Release, ladies. Here we go. Vinyasa it out. We're going to come to the floor. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, step or hop back. Chaturanga. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, down dog. Good. Come to seated position. Come to Baddha Konasana. It's always a nice sort of reset when we sit down, opening the hips. Soles of the feet come together. Bound angle pose. Draw the knees toward the earth. If you want to use a strap, you can use a strap to kind of hook it under your feet. Some of you can just hold ankles, others can interlace under the feet. It's a very active pose, so you're lifting the spine, opening the heart, drawing the knees toward the earth. If you want, close your eyes. Calming the breath, calming the mind, coming to a relaxation place from all that flow that we just did, that strengthening, the heat we built, kind of cooling our jets now. Start to deepen the breath, slow it down, soften the breath. Soften the face muscles. Good, so from here, keep a long spine and hinge at the hips. Get a little bit deep in this forward bend. Some of you can go a little bit lower with your exhale. Good. And slowly come back up, but we're going to open the feet like it's a book, and now we're going to round the spine. So maybe you draw your chin towards your chest. And maybe draw your forehead towards the toes. It doesn't have to touch the toes. It's just finding roundness in the spine, opening up the hips. Breathing. Good. And then slowly 
Inhaling it up, hug the knees. Let's bring the legs straight ahead and we'll come to laying on our back. And before we come into final resting, go ahead, lay on your back. Let's hug the right knee into the belly. We'll do a nice spinal twist. We'll pop the right arm out to the side and draw the knee over to the left. Good. It doesn't have to touch the floor, but I want you to find what your body wants today. So if you want to touch the floor, you can feel into it. Try to keep your right shoulder on the ground. And again, just come to a soft space in the mind, in the breath. Slow down the breath, slow down the mind. Right? And when you practice yoga a little bit more, you'll notice how the mind is so controlled by the breath. If you practice meditation, you'll start to learn how the breath can, can really tame the mind. It might not slow down your thoughts, but it might bring a peace <laughs> of mind to all of the many thoughts that keep coming. Good. Inhale it up to center. Straighten the right leg in front of you. Good, hug the left knee, cross it over when you're ready, draw the left arm out, Good. And you can close your eyes here, really coming to resting. This one should feel really good, it's definitely one of my favorites. And slowly take your time when you're ready. Come back to center, legs straight ahead, and then come into the final resting pose, which is Shavasana. Great way to come into it is start with flattening the shoulder blades. Helps to turn your palms face up to open the chest a little bit more. And it might help to take your hands anywhere from 10 to 12 inches away from you. It's nice to take your ankles a little bit wider than the hips. Good. Really start to soften the face muscles. Soften the eyeballs. Let the eyeballs rest in their sockets. Try to find that space between sleep and waking life. We practice this enough, we start to see that all of life is a dream, whether you're asleep or awake. You're welcome to stay in Shavasana anywhere from 5 to 60 minutes if you need it. Really calm your nervous system, calm the body. Let all of your practice integrate, all the strength, balance, flexibility, twisting you worked on. Let the body and mind take it all in. Let's take it into our heart, take it off the mat, into the world, sharing our love and light and joy with others. Thank you so much for joining us with Heart Alchemy Yoga. We're at youtube.com slash heartalchemyyoga. Please make sure you subscribe to us. Thank you. My name is Gloria Baracchio. We're at the Springs LA in the Downtown Arts District, Los Angeles. We'll see you soon. Namaste.